Today's main task for the Forum of Parliament on the Great Lakes region before they embark on any other business was to ensure they change the leadership of the various committees. And these include one on peace and security, democracy and good governance, women and children, among others. The first committee to change leadership was that one on democracy and good governance, and there were two candidates, one from Kenya and Zambia, and each of the candidates were given an opportunity to explain why they need to take up the leadership. With my experience as one of the negotiators on many programs of financing in Kenya, I will support this organization. I come from a country, all of you know Zambia, which has been on the international forum, uh, for its good and good governance practices, and I would love to bring that to the committee. Before embarking on voting by ballot, the first option that the Forum Norris has is to ensure that there is consensus. So therefore, the two candidates were given a chance to speak to the outgoing chairpersons of the same committee to select one chairperson. However, when the outgoing committee selected the candidate from Zambia to be the chairperson, the contender from Kenya was not happy, and therefore he asked that the entire representation from the various states makes a decision on that matter. When they opted to go for a ballot, the Kenyan legislator Mugambi Murithania became the chairperson of the Committee on Democracy and Good Governance. The Secretary General of the Forum shared why it is important to select new leaders of the various committees. These committees are very significant because along the way, when we do these activities, we come up with proposals or resolutions uh, that we then share with the member parliaments. For instance, if we go for election observation and we observe something that is positive, we come up and uh, encourage other member par members, states through member parliaments to make use of them. If we see something that is not good, we also advise and uh, we advise those that are concerned. The various positions in the other committees were also filled and therefore from tomorrow, the committees will be sitting and assessing the situation within the Great Lakes region and they'll be coming up with various resolutions and recommendations that are going to be shared with the various parliaments. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV in Juba.